Well, uh, here I am. Here we are. Um, my name is Nate Morrow. I won the uh, Dark Glass Electronics Bass Pedals Contest. Um, I, I write under the, the pseudonym The Scuba Cult, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll hear, hear of me uh, someday. Um, uh, anyway, so this is me breaking out the the gear for you guys. Uh, just got the B B7K. Came in this box, this neat little thin recycled box that only guys in Finland have. I'm kidding. Um, it's from Finland. I don't know what it is in Finland that makes the engineer the musicality and, and, and engineering go hand in hand, but it just does. Uh, so, so thank you very much, uh, Douglas Castro and Hugo. Thank you very much for your emails uh, and uh, the the priority shipping. Got some some priority. I'm gonna keep this. This is this is a this is a, I've never won anything in my life, so this is um i'm very very um very humbled and uh very very uh, grateful for this and it came in a bubble wrap so that's that stuff like that and it came in this really cool box the the best box uh in the world um I'm using two cameras, so I don't know which one to go to. Uh, Dark Glass Electronics uh, has this little uh, magnet thing on there. That's cool. I mean, uh, how cool is that? Uh, and then inside is uh, the B7K, uh, where the where the magic happens. Uh, right, right, right there. You see that? Um, and uh, this is the uh, this is the little tank right here, um, the B7K. Uh, very cool. I've, I've played around with it uh, already. Uh, love it. Um, I'll, I'll go over some of the controls uh, for you, the, um, and uh, hopefully you'll you'll uh, you'll like it as much as me, I guess. Um, so here it is. Plug it in, right? When you plug it in, this little uh, cool, uh, rather bright uh, LED light comes on. Mm, it's blue. Uh, XLR uh, out, direct out is really cool, uh, and then you know outputs all that crap. Uh, nine volt uh, parallel output, which is really cool, and then uh, then an input, and then you have this phantom power switch here. This cool little um, neat little stealthy switch there, so you can run on phantom power, um, and uh, and and that's that's that for that. Um, the uh, the controls here are you know the blend uh, the level uh, uh, and the drive uh, these neat little neat little guys right here there's this is like a two position little stealthy kind of switch it's the attack and uh, you can you can boost the attack or you can leave it flat uh, and then uh, that's cool uh, I boost it uh, what the hell um, and then uh, this is the grunt uh, it says grunt uh, and uh, it's uh, the down is down is raw, uh, and the middle is thin, and uh, the very top one is uh, I forgot uh, fat. So uh, I I had it on fat last time I played, but every one of these um, positions is really musical. Um, it's the best pedal I've ever owned, uh, which is um, uh, very uh, humbling. Um, here is the uh this is how i played it last time i i play a, a five uh, five string wall um and uh the the electronics in in that is really powerful too so um i i actually had uh uh the low uh not it goes low treble low mids high mids sorry i'm not a really good pedal guy there's a lot of great videos out there about pedal dudes but um, I'm not one of them apparently uh, the uh, the low I had it on one and all the all the ones all the other ones I've I had all the way down I had no I mean it was just uh, way too powerful it was like a um, like a nuclear bomb I mean uh, with with my base so um, I just uh, and the, the cool thing about it is 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 that uh, you know the the headroom involved. You know if you need low mids or or you, you know, you're playing a rig or a venue or something like that where where uh, you know um, you need some high mids or whatever. Man, you've got you've got like a uh, a jet engine in here. Uh, so I have it all the way rolled back. And then uh, I uh, I have I I played um, with the blend all the way to ten to totally get rid of my amp. 
um so uh and that was awesome and then uh, the the level was kind of in the middle and the drive was kind of in the middle uh last last time i played i'll put down a track like a rhythm track a bass solo track after this uh try to edit this all together um and uh, so that's it um that's it for this this guy um and uh it's the most expensive pedal i've ever owned by far um and uh i'm just uh very um i'm still blown away by it um it's a i'm looking at it and, and i should be showing it to you uh but the, the neat little um attention to detail is really cool um they've uh they the little the little tiny words in, in the middle of these little switches here is really cool um it's a, a an elegant design and uh, i'll probably play uh with this uh uh uh, going out, I'll probably be using an XLR out uh, and going straight into um, uh, my my software there, and uh, so and, and that's it. Um, thing is thing is bad to the bone. Very elegant, very cool. Um, so uh, uh, Douglas uh, Hugo, thank you guys very much, and um, I'll uh, get to work. Thanks. Brain.